Hello everybody. The field in the 2019 PokerStars EPT Barcelona main event is drawing closer and closer to crowning its new champion. Just 48 hopefuls will return to the tournament area at noon local time to continue to battle it out. Leading the way is Pascal Bracco with a stack of 2.8 million. He's followed by Shannon Shore and Diego Falcone. Looks like Shannon Shore will have a gamble before he even gets to the casino as he attempts to bring in some snacks he made this morning. Good luck to Shannon both on the felt and at the security screening. And for those lax on security who need a warning, look out for Oliver Biles who reminds players to be extremely careful with their phones and belongings as there are clearly those who've heard there's a poker tournament in town and have arrived at the casino to see what they can steal. Have a look at the leaderboard coming into play of the main event today. Isaac Haxton and Timothy Adams are still in contention for that top prize of almost 1.7 million euros. And regardless of where they fall in this main event, it will have been a fantastic festival for Alexander Iverson, Marku Kuplima, and Sergei Rykic, who still all have chips in the main event and have already claimed a title at this tournament series. Today's plan was originally to play down to 24, but now is 16 or four levels minimum, six levels maximum. You can watch the live stream starting at 12 p.m. local time with the Shannon Short Meatball Mystery Debacle Solved as well as the lovely Gal Bauman. So be sure to be there for some early fireworks on the PokerStars YouTube or Twitch. Yesterday was the last single day high roller of the festival and with the 25K buy-in, the top prize was a whopping 713,000 euros. Eyes were glued to Juan Pardo who managed to win both of the previous single day high rollers, but unfortunately he could not capture all three titles as he busted in fourth place, but he can console himself with a nice six figure payday. Ultimately, it was Laszlo Butas of Hungary who ended up with all the chips after a short heads up match with Charlie Carroll. Today, the 10K High Roller will begin its three-day journey to a champion. This has certainly become one of the most popular tournaments at this festival and can be seen as indicative of a general movement in the live poker scene. When this tournament was introduced in 2010, it attracted a total field of 36 players. Ah yes, I remember the days so clearly, a time when a 10K was still a high roller. Well, last year the field attracted 439 players and it was Max Silver who took home the title, the trophy and that top prize. The structure of this tournament is certainly attractive and players are allowed a single re-entry up until the start of day two. We will of course have all the action for you on all of the tournaments going down here at the Casino Barcelona right here on PokerNews.com.